Hey everyone, it's Jess, and you might recognize me from the Beaver Bunch channel, and uh, the reason that I'm doing a video right now is because I was looking on the Baby Beaver Bunch YouTube channel this morning, and I noticed their topic, and with their uh, permission, I wanted to give a little bit of my volunteer, my own opinion about this, because I think it's, it's really important, and I wanted to uh, just give my two cents. So the topic is about stereotyping gay relationships, and they define that, of course, I'm sure you've heard this before, you know, who's, well, who's the man in the relationship, or who's the woman, or masculinity, femininity, or any, anything like that. I'm sure you guys have heard that before. And uh, this, again, is my own opinion, but I believe that all of that is derived from decades, decades ago when People didn't. People outside of the LGBT community didn't quite understand us, and they had only before ever seen, you know, the the heterosexual relationship where there was just a man and a woman, and there was someone who was working all day at the office or, or wherever, and the woman was staying at home doing the cooking and cleaning and, and all of that. I mean, you guys have heard the stories. So when finally they they did shed a little bit of light on the gay community, the people who still didn't quite understand us needed a way to better understand what our relationship roles were. So they asked, well, who wears the pants in the family? And I think that that has just been carried over from, from those generations and, and from, from those times, and people still want to know. Um, yes, it is offensive because we are trying to pull ourselves away from the heteronormative way of, you know, being in a relationship. Like there we're not we're not a man or a woman in a relationship. I am a biological female in a relationship with another female. It has zero to do with with who is this gen this gender role or that gender role or who is the dominant one. It doesn't have anything to do with that. Um, there are days that I wake up and I feel like I want to put on some pants and a button down and whatever. And those that want to judge me based on the way that I look are more than welcome to. I'm okay with that if it makes them feel better. But in no way, shape, or form does that mean that I am a man or that I am masculine or that I am more dominant. In each relationship, you can be whatever you feel like being. It does not define you. And I think that people need to really understand that. Whatever happened to the obliteration of labels? They're obsolete. Most of them can't even be applied to it. You can't even apply the word feminine anymore because there are so many different people that that can act feminine or act masculine on any given day at any given moment. So you, you can't even use it. It doesn't even make sense. It's completely nonsensical to try to apply these labels to anything or anyone anymore. Be yourself. Dress how you want to dress, act how you want to act, and be with whoever you want to be with. Don't let anybody define you by labels. Don't let anybody tell you how you need to act. Come on, kids. It's the 90s. Mary says that all the time. I think it's awesome. If you guys get a chance, it would be great if you could check out my videos on the Beaver Bunch. Um, I, I do post videos every single Monday, so it would be great if you guys could check that out. And thank you, baby Beaver Bunch. Uh, again, I think you guys are rad. So enjoy your week, guys. I will see you soon. Bye.